Hey guys, welcome back. And hello if you are new, my name is Sarah and I make gift guides just like this throughout the whole entire year. I also make a bunch of other content so if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and join our little family. And if you haven't already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Sarah England. And today's video is the long, very long awaited what I got my kids for Christmas video. I have received so many messages, DMs, comments, emails from you guys because you guys are so excited for this video and asking for when it's coming. I am so excited to film this video. It's my very favorite video to film as well. And honestly guys, I didn't think I was behind until I saw everybody and their mother post their videos super early this year. So I feel like I'm late in the game to post this video, but it's only December 5th. So anyway, I'm getting it up for you guys. Um, I also want to quickly begin a disclaimer. I feel terrible. I am feeling really sick right now. I'm actually waiting for COVID test results. I think I might have been exposed at the grocery store. I have been social distancing like crazy. I've barely like done anything since March. And honestly, it's really discouraging and I feel miserable. So if I kind of, if I just, not as peppy, if I just look kind of rough, um, I also have really bad, bad brain fog and I keep mumbling my words a lot lately. Um, ever since I started feeling sick, so I don't even know if that's a COVID symptom. I honestly have no idea, but it's just something that I've been dealing with for the past like five days. So um, just keep aware. That's that's, that's kind of what's going on. If I say things that are weird and stuff and don't pick up on it, I just disregard it, please. Um, but if you've never seen any of my gift guides before or have ever watched any of my videos, I have two daughters. My oldest is Olive and she just turned six and my youngest is Eleanor and she will turn three in March. Um, and with per my usual videos, I typically go all out for Christmas. We love to spoil spoil the kiddos for Christmas time. Um, it's just fun. I just it's something that we enjoy doing, and it's something that I don't know. It's what we chose to do as a parent. I love to spoil them. I love for Christmas magic just to come alive. And I know Christmas is not about the presents, but and the girls definitely know that. But it's still fun to spoil your little kiddos, especially during this year, which has been so hard for so many of us um, and I know everybody's budget looks different so please don't feel like I'm saying that you need to get these gifts or that you're not a good parent if you don't get these gifts or if you have more or have less honestly this is just what my husband and I decided to do this year and how we kind of budgeted around it um, but I just want to make that or disclaimer as I do every year but especially this year because I know it's hard on so many families um, and yeah so I do feel like I did better this year than I normally do I am gonna say that. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna dive in and jump in with Eleanor, she's my youngest. Um, and at the end, I will share with you guys their mutual gift. We've never done a mutual gift before, but this year is a new year and we're doing it now. And they also have kind of a bigger ticketed item that I'm gonna share with you also at the end. But I'm just gonna start with Eleanor. And like I said, she's my youngest, she is three. The first thing I'm gonna share with you is a book. Um, I, If you've been watching my gift guides for a long time, you'll know that I do a book in every single thing, either a book or an educational item, because it's important to me to foster their love for learning as well as reading. I love to read and I want them to love to read as much, just as much. It's just so important to me. Um, Olive already really, really loves reading. She's been doing such a good job right now in kindergarten and she's obsessed with it. And I'm really hoping that Eleanor gets on the same path. Um, so I got Eleanor one of the Pigeon series from Mo Willems. If you've never read any of the Mo Willems books, they are so great for kids. They're so funny and so cute. Um, we love Piggy and Elephant. We have a number of um, those books from that series. And then the Pigeon, uh, uh, we have a couple of the Pigeons from the Pigeon series. Oh my goodness. Um, I told you, brain fog. Um, we don't have this one though. This is the Pigeon Needs a Bath and Eleanor loves them. He's such a funny pigeon. He makes me think of Eleanor anyway. He's just kind of like funny and sarcastic and sassy um, and it's totally up Eleanor's alley. I love these books because they feel like they're semi-interactive. They ask questions um, with the reader and you're kind of talking to the pigeon and it's just really fun and really funny. So definitely recommend these. Um, I got this one off Amazon. I will have everything linked below like I always do. Predominantly everything came either from Amazon, Walmart, or Target. Those were the three places that had the best deals this year. Like normal, it's what I normally shop with. But by far, I feel like Target kicked it out of the park with sales this year. Their sales were incredible. Um, but 
Amazon had some really good ones too. I think I got this on sale for about $11 or so. It is hardbound, um, but I think she's gonna really like this. Next, I always get them pajamas. They have like a Christmas themed pajama set that they will get on Christmas Eve that they will wear. Um, but then I also like to include like a nicer set of pajamas that are more just like everyday themed. They're not Christmas themed or holiday themed. And the ones I went with this year are from the Disney store. This is the one I got Eleanor. This is Snow White. Um, I think it's so beautiful and just so pretty. Um, I did side with, excuse me, I have like a bubble that doesn't want to come out. <laughs> Um, I did size up to the uh, five six in this. She is really, really tiny, so I think this is probably going to be pretty big on her. However, I find that a lot of the Disney nightgowns, Disney princess nightgowns, tend to run small, so I did size up on both of their um, pajamas, and hopefully they will not be too ridiculous. Um, but I think she's going to love it. It's so beautiful. This one's actually really, really well made. Um, one of you actually commented pretty recently on my video about some Disney items that you got, and we're just like over it because you spent so much money and they break. And I agree, like Disney's really hit or miss and you end up spending a lot of money and sometimes the quality is terrible and sometimes the quality is exceptional you just don't know what you're going to get i will say the quality on this one is really really nice i love the embroidery on it the screen printing is really nice it feels like a really nice substantial nightgown um this retails for $24.99. I paid like $14 for this when they were having a sale recently. So I definitely recommend it. I think it's really, really cute. And she's going to look so beautiful in it. I think it's going to look so nice on her deeper skin tone. Um, she takes after her dad and has like a beautiful, just like deep russet skin tone. And I think this will pop so nicely against it. All right. So if you guys have been watching my videos for a while or my gift guides, you will know that my youngest loves Shopkins, figures, anything and everything along those lines. For the past, I think two at least gift guides, there has been Shopkins and or figures um, in it. And this year's not anything different. However, we're kind of taking it on a different track. So this is technically Shopkins brands, but it is the cutie cars. Now I do believe these actually have been discontinued, which is really upsetting because I think they're actually really nice. Um, but these are the Shopkins cutie cars and this is the play display cupcake man. I actually got this back in like July um, when we were doing like a big self quarantine and I was looking for just fun things for the girl to play, girls to play with and I ended up just keeping this for Christmas. It was on sale. I will try to see if they still have any on Amazon um, but this is just a little car and it holds eight of the actual like, cutie cars which are like Hot Wheels but that are like all fun pastels and stuff like that um, here's one right here they come it comes with one this is the jelly bean buggy we already have like two or three of them and Eleanor really really likes them she's got really into like toy cars and like Hot Wheels and stuff like this that this year um, so I thought this would be perfect for her I think it's really cute it's a little puppy like I said, I've had this forever um, in my closet, but Eleanor loves like containers, like toys that hold other toys. Like that's something she adores. And so I know that she's gonna really like this. She'll probably end up putting her Shopkins in this as well, but it's just fun. She's really into the cars and wheeled things. And so I got her this and to kind of go along with that, and the only other Shopkin thing I got her was this set of cutie cars. This is the cutie cars mystery pack. There's eight exclusive mystery cutie cars in here. Um, I believe this was like a holiday set last year, the year before, like I said, I think the cutie cards have been discontinued. I got this also on Amazon um, for a cheap price. I will see if they have any more and link it below. But um, I thought this was still fun because it's still like an, a surprise set of cutie cars. Um, she's still really into the, all the surprise toys and stuff like that. I mean, both girls still are. So I think she's still really, really going to like this. And I love that it's eight cutie cars because it'll go perfect because this holds eight. Now we already have one up here and we have, like I said, we have two or three more already. So not all of them are going to fit, but the majority will. So this is kind of a gift that goes together. All right, so I shared one of these in my, um, what I got my six year old for her birthday, for Olive's birthday gift haul, but I ended up not getting it in time. So I decided just to save it for Christmas because Eleanor ended up asking for one too. And so I just thought it'd be better for them both to get one the same day. And those are the new Barbie extras. These are so cool. These are kind of, I feel like Barbie's version of like the LOL OMG dolls or the Rainbow High dolls, or just like the more glamorous couture Barbie or dolls that are coming out um i was actually 
kind of disappointed lately with Barbies because I feel like I love Barbie. I love, I think she's a wonderful role model. The girls love the Barbie shows on Netflix. Um, I love all the like diversity that Barbie has. However, I just wanted them to have a bit more oomph. I feel like every Barbie looks the exact same as far as like actual Barbie. Um, they don't change up makeup very often. The artic there's no articulation, it's kind of annoying. Um, and the big thing this year was the girls asked for articulated Barbies. And so I originally was gonna get the made to move Barbies, but I just thought they were kind of like eh, until right before I ordered that, I saw that the Barbies were coming out with articulated like extra Barbies. So these are just like Barbie on glam. Um, so this is the one I got for Eleanor. They're not named, they're only by numbers. This is number five. I only think they're about five in the series. They're all different ethnicities, all different body sizes. They're really, really beautiful. They're so fun. They come with a little pet. So this one has like a little Doberman um, and a little car. And they had like these fun, you're gonna see a glare, but these really fun, exciting outfits. She's so pretty and cute. Um, she kind of looks like Eleanor. And so I think she's gonna love it. I'm really excited to see where Barbie goes with this line because I I think this is like this is awesome I was so excited these were more pricey than I feel like just regular Barbie dolls these were about $23 I think um, I don't think I got either of these on sale actually these are probably the only item that I wasn't able to get on sale because they just released and they've been kind of hard to get my hands on so um, I did get this one I got them both from Walmart so if you're having a hard time get, getting them some of them haven't been in stock yet haven't been offered yet I got them both at Walmart Walmart's offering all of um all five of them so just so you know check out your local Walmart but this is Eleanor's so unlike last year Eleanor has now gotten into lol that's been like her thing um I know that some people don't want to see lols in these gift guides because they're over it but that's what she wanted that's what she asked for so she prefers the lol like omgs like the barbies the bigger dolls um she got a number of them for her birthday last year and she loved them and has been playing with them non-stop so she asked for a couple this year and so i decided that i would get them for her because i saw how well she played with um, the one she got for her birthday so i will include a picture um i can't find it which is kind of making me panic a little bit <laughs> it's in my closet somewhere but um the two ones that she asked for was the lol omg that is like the record player um, ones which I think is so cool that MGA does a really good job with their packaging and this one plays like you put a record on and it plays the song for this lol it's really cool anyway um hers is like the 80 themed one which is my favorite I'm so glad you picked that one because I thought she's so cute I love everything 80s but they had a bunch of different ones one looked like Ariana Grande one was like a country singer I think they had a bunch of different types um and so she asked for that one so I'll have a picture up here. I have to find it because I don't know where it is. But I got all of their LOL um, dolls on such a good discount and on sale when Target was having like a really, really big sale before, I think before November, maybe it was like the beginning of November. I got such a good sale on all of them. And then she also asked for this one. So this is their winter chill. This is like their holiday collection that they do every year. Last year was called Winter Disco. Um, and this is the one that she wanted out of that. This is Missy Meow and Baby Cat. This comes with an LOL OMG and then like the little sister. I wish you could see Missy Meow because she's so cute. She has like a little tiger outfit on and her little hair kind of like pops out. It's so cute, little fun buns, but with like floofs. I don't know what to have. I don't know. Anyway, um, but this is what her little sister looks like and these are just so cute I love the winter ones because I love all of the like snow outfits and stuff like that But this is the one she wanted out of that and Like I said, I love opening these up with them because they're fun for me <laughs> because I feel like MGA does a really good job with the unboxing experiences for lol So this is the one that she wanted for that as long as well as the other one And then I decided to only get one little sister She likes the omgs a lot more than little sisters, but she still plays with these a lot She likes to play like mommy and baby and sisters and stuff like that And so this is actually from the winter disco series last uh, last year um, but we only have two from that series and I think they're about 12 or 15 so I'm really hoping we don't get a duplicate but these are on sale for like five bucks or something versus all the other ones were not so I grabbed one of these she won't notice honestly I mean they still look like they match perfectly so both packaging wise so it'll be just fine and um, so I only got one of these to go with her collection um, to kind of go along with this and something that kind of goes along with all of this gift which you'll see in a little bit um, This is the Kenty Kids Doll snack time friends. This is Marsha Mello. She's been wanting this for a long time. I just haven't been 
I don't know, it's like, I'd like to do themed gifts and this just never fit into the themes. Um, but this is something she asked for. It kind of, I think it's the same maker of Shopkins because it gives a lot of the Shopkins vibe. She's kind of a bobblehead. These came out, I believe, last year. I think they have a number of them this year that are more interactive, that are like talkative and have like a, there's one that's like a um, vet, not a vet, a doctor, they have an ambulance, all that type of stuff, but this is the one that she wanted, um, and they come with cute little foods for her to, like, eat and play with, um, she's super adorable, I also got two little kits to go along with this, but they're not in yet, um, I will have pictures, I'll probably end up sharing them with you when I do my stocking stuffer video, um, but there's, like, a little backpack kit that has, like, fun little crayons and stuff like that, and a lunchbox kit that comes with, um, like little food for her to eat so she can take care of her baby so this is the one that she's really interested in she's not really into baby doll baby dolls but she likes dolls if that makes any sense so this is one she's been asking for so i know she's gonna really like this one i got this one on sale for like 15 dollars around there um or so i think either at target or walmart um when they were having their big toy sale so that one I want to share with you gifts that coincide with like a bigger gift that my mom's getting them um, because I have gifts that go along with those gifts so it only makes sense if I share with you what their bigger gifts is are so I'll show a picture of this gift because it's way too big to show you in here but Eleanor has really been wanting a bike so my mom is getting her a big girl bike she's been using a little mini radio flyer for I think she got that last Christmas and has done such a good job with pedaling and just doing you know just loves it like I mean that's literally the thing that she does my mom's 24 7 is just driving around the house with that little bike and so she's been really wanting a big girl bike like her big sister and so this year my mom got her a bike and of course to go along with her obsession with lol it's an lol themed bike and she's gonna freak um to go along with that we have some protective gear so we have this lol helmet honestly this isn't the best helmet i will probably try to see if i can get um i really like the ones they have at walmart that are like unicorns or cats and they're a lot thicker and more like rubberized and protective i feel like probably will end up getting one of those just because my kid's got a big head and she has the tendency to hit her head all the time and I just want it to be protected so but this is lol themed and then to go along with that are just some you know knee pads elbow pads gloves these come in handy man if you don't think your kid needs them get them I'm telling you when Olive was first riding on her uh, bike she fell all the time and thank god we had them because she would have been scratched up so definitely make sure you get the elbow pads as well all right the sun's going down i decided to set up my ring light and i'm regretting it so let's kind of hurry through this so you don't get our in total darkness so eleanor's big gift that she asked for from santa claus um and we santa and i talked and we decided on a different gift but the big gift that eleanor's been really wanting i'm going to share with you right here if i can hold it up it's ginormous and it is the lol glamper so um this is the one that actually came out i believe last christmas it's the like mint and light pink uh one and for whatever reason lol just literally recolored their items this year and brought them back out at full price which i think was kind of I have little feelings about that but i was happy because we got this on mega sale around the summertime i think we got this around for 50 dollars, and it's normally a hundred dollars so and plus i like these colors better i think they're cuter um so this is her big gift that she's been really really wanting and it's just like a fun big glamper that opens up and there's like a dj booth and bunk beds and a pool and all of these things it's perfect for her she's gonna freak out and it also comes with a little sister so she'll have three little sisters one here one here and then one in here and then her new omgs to play with it and i know she's going to love it it got really quiet so i'm trying to make sure they're not listening um but there's like 55 surprises and it's a whole unboxing experience and everything and i know she's gonna love it it's been sitting in my closet and taking up so much space for months now so i'm so excited to wrap it and get it under the tree because i'm so frustrated with the amount of space it's taken up but um i was so excited when we got that deal all right so let's move on to olives so olives first her book i am so excited about and of course the girls are going to enjoy each other's books because we all read together anyway but i've been wanting to get all of this book for months ever since i heard about it and it's basically like a choose your own adventure book and you get to choose what darla does and how she reacts to certain situations and it's the cutest 
book. Now this thing was like $21 and I got it just the other day. It was on a big sale, I think right after Black Friday for $10. So I was so excited. There's a bunch of different options and what she'll do in this situation. And I think there's over, over like, I don't know how many different scenarios that you can have. There's eight different endings to each book and all these different scenarios that end up happening. And it's so much fun and so cute. The illustrations are adorable. I love it. I'm so excited. They also have a boy version that says, what should Danny do? Um, so I highly recommend this. I think this is exceptional. I love that it teaches like consequences, um, just different just options and like how what our choices do to others and how they affect others and ourselves. I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait to read this with him. <laughs> so Olive's pajamas are um, another set from Disney. I got her the Jasmine set. She loves Princess Jasmine and she's been begging for a crop top, which let me tell you is not gonna happen. But this one kind of has like a crop top vibe, although I think the pants cover the belly fully, but this is about the crop is croppiest top she's gonna get so these are seven eighths they look ginormous i think they're gonna be way too big on her but she'll grow into them <laughs> once again these were 29.99 i think i got these close to like 15 dollars or 16 dollars on sale as well from um disney store i honestly don't know about the fabric it seems nice but at the same time i could see it snagging so time will tell time will tell disney but those are her pajamas something Ollie asked for this Christmas was she wanted clothes. So um, I actually ordered just a bunch of different clothes during Black Friday and stuff that they both can have for their just winter warmer clothes to have um, that they already have been given. But to have like something fun and pretty to unbox, I decided to get this, which you guys are just gonna... <laughs> I saw this online and just screamed Olive. It is a giant faux fur pink coat. <laughs> It's princess, it has pearls and diamonds in it with this tiara. This is totally up her alley. She loves everything fancy, everything glam, everything magnifique. Um, this I sized up to a seven eight, so it's gonna be big on her now, but I think will be perfect next year when we actually can like enjoy it and go out places and feel super fancy. So she has a winter coat already that she got last year that's Elsa. Um, it fits her just fine. It'll be fine for, like I said, this whole winter, but just, just to feel extra fancy and for her to have something next year, she'll be able to wear this. So I got her this, and then I also got the matching hat to go along with it, which is a little beret and has a little pom-pom along with the beads up top. Although I do not like clusters. I think it's like called tripophobia. I can't, that may be wrong, but I hate clusters of things. Um, and so it kind of makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Is anybody else like that who doesn't like clusters or like it just kind of makes you want to pop things? I don't know. It's it's a problem Anyway, it kind of makes me uncomfortable, but it's also really cute. I know she's gonna freaking love it. So This is her Clothing item I got her and to go along with that I also ended up getting these boots which once again that those two items wonderful quality this I don't know See you just never know I got her these cute little um, frozen two boots they are silver, but with like blue and green reflex in them. They're really adorable. However, I just feel like the quality is not that great. There's a ton of glitter just falling off of them all the time. They don't feel like they're gonna be comfortable. I feel like they're gonna rub on the back of her ankles. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna take these back. They retail for $24.99. I think I also got these on sale as well, but still, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these. I may give them back, but or take give them back. Take them back. Um, they are really cute and really pretty, but I just, I'm not positive. All right, so this is another item that I got during the summertime when I got Ellen Wears Shopkins thing. Ollie was super into num noms. I think this is another thing that isn't really popular anymore. I don't really know. I hate when they bring out things that are really cute and the girls see, see videos later, like years later, and are like, I want that. I'm like, well, they don't make it anymore. This is kind of along those lines, but I was able to snag this once again for a really cheap price, I think about eight bucks or so, um, and has just a bunch of little num noms, little plasticky little guys, and they have a rubber little guys, and they all smell good, and there's a glittery lip gloss and a mystery num num. This is just something that she likes. This is fun for her. I'm sure Eleanor will play with it too, um, but I got a package of these, and they've just been sitting in my closet forever, so she's gonna get them for Christmas now, but I mean, they smell really good. I can smell them through the package. They smell great. So just a fun little gift for her. 
And then, um, if you watched my, what I got my kid for, or what I got her for her birthday, you would have seen that pretty much everything was art because Olive is obsessed with art. I only got her a couple things to go that were artistic, um, around the art theme this year, um, because she, you know, she just got a bunch, so she didn't need a whole bunch more, but I did get her a couple things, and this is probably going to be more of like a shared gift, um, at least two of these things are, because Eleanor's really into art now too. The first thing is this set of Pipsqueak washable markers. I get new markers, new crayons, new colored pencils, literally all the time, but it's just because they use them up so much. So I got this on sale during Black Friday. Um, it has a bunch of little markers. There are 25 washable markers in there, um, 40 blank pieces of paper, and a little storage case. This is really perfect for when they need to go to my mother-in-law's or my mom's and they want to, they can just carry it with them and it's good to go. Um, and so this was like, I think a really good deal. This is perfect for if you have a little one too who's really into wanting to draw and create as well, but you don't want to take up a whole lot of space and everything just fits super compact in here. So I really like this idea, but because, you know, she literally goes through so much paper. I do feel kind of bad about the trees because man, the paper that we go through because she's constantly drawing and creating. Um, I decided to get this, which is the Melissa and Doug tabletop paper dispenser. I've seen these for a number of years now um, and just never really thought much about them until now. I think this is going to be perfect. Basically, it's just a paper roll that we can pull out for how little or however much paper she wants to use or for Eleanor to use. This is perfect for me for them to be on the floor and I can just pull out a long strip and then they both have plenty of room to color on. Um, I think this will be really fun so you can create big scenes like she likes to do and you can buy the refills um, for this really inexpensively I think a three pack for like eight bucks um, and then this was only about eleven dollars or something on Amazon so I'm really excited I think she's gonna love it I had to smell to see if it's wood <laughs> it's wood but I can't smell it <laughs> I don't know, I do weird things. Anyway, this is a fun gift I think she's gonna like. Um, it may not seem super exciting, but I, if you have an artistic kid, um, then this may be up your alley, especially if you don't wanna have like a big easel. This is a really good option to have more room to color and create, but it's still compact and fits in her little art studio, which is literally the um, cabinet under her bathroom sink. She calls it her art studio, and that's where all of her art stays, so. Those are the those two art pieces um, that she'll probably end up sharing with Eleanor. And then this one is more specifically for Olive. I got this from, this is from Game Note. This is from Amazon. It is a rainbow supply caddy. Um, she keeps all of her, most of her markers and stuff have a spot in like certain cases and stuff, but some of them don't. And as she gets more, um, she just wants a cool place to keep them. So I keep finding cups that she keeps taking and putting all of her stuff in. So I thought this was a perfect item, especially for the days, because we typically go do virtual learning at my mom's house. But for the days that we're here for like now when I'm sick and we can't be near my mom, um, I thought this would be a really good idea so she could just easily grab it and put it on the table for her school day and then she can put it back in her art studio at the end of the day. It is this rainbow supply caddy. This is real wood. It smells phenomenal. Um, I love the smell of wood. And it is just a cute little rainbow and it has a bunch of little slots. The slots don't move, they are put in so you can't rearrange size. But this is plenty for like a bunch of crayons, some of her markers, her pens, her pencils, all that type of stuff. She can keep her, her blue, glasses, blue light glasses in here, erasers, glue, whatever she needs for school or her art studio, she can easily just pick up now instead of having to hold all of this stuff and take it to the table and then easily put it back. So, and it's also just really cute for whenever, hopefully, God willing, we have a house soon enough and she can have a desk there and have this on display because I think it's so cute and fun. So, um, I do believe this was on sale for around $11 recently too um, on Amazon. It's really cute. So, if you have a little artiste, like I said, this would be perfect to give. Um, or if you have a little one who's virtual learning and just wants to decorate their space a little bit um, nicer, a little bit more fun, this is a good idea. But like I said, Eleanor got her Barbie extra and so Ollie has hers. So this is um, Barbie Barbie, um, but she's number three in the series and 
she has a unicorn pig and like a crazy awesome fur coat that's gonna match all these um fun like pink hair it's crimpy has little fun buns in it um ollie just really wanted a fully articulated barbie um we have ones i they have ones that were mine from when i was a kid and they are still in awesome condition um but the ones you can get now just fall apart really easily so i have high hopes especially for the price that this is definitely worth it um but she's really really cute i love all of her accessories i know ollie's gonna love her and i'm so glad they each have their own little one um to play with like i said um the, these were from walmart and they have a bunch of different ones in this this series so like i said we have her barbie i love um this i think I think these two are actually plus size and then this one is more on like the tall side um because you know how they make different heights and stuff and she's adorable i want to get the, them next she has adorable little afro buns and they're so freaking cute so anyway those are their extra barbie barbie extras okay so this next item is something that i had planned to get ollie for a while now um if you guys have been watching me for a while you will know that um we were pregnant with a little boy and we lost him at 16 weeks and i had been planning this gift for her um around that kind of idea because i wanted to get her i figured that she would be obsessed with wanting to help me which i totally would want but just like also just want to be in a mama because i remember like just wanting to like modeling you know just seeing a, an observing behavior and wanting to do the same thing so i knew getting her a baby doll a really nice baby doll she would love unfortunately we miscarried and he is not here um but i still thought this would be such a good idea and as she's getting older and really into like wanting to be a mommy and just take care of her baby i thought this would be such a good idea so this is actually the gift that my mom's giving her she got her from Amazon. Um, these are the nicer kind of reborn um, babies. I think she this was around $60 or so. She is weighted. Um, she has the most soft, adorable little hair. Her pacifier is magnetic. Um, I wish you could see her in person because on camera she's coming off so much flatter than she's in person. Her coloring is so sweet. Her skin is so soft. Her little hands are actually, her nails are painted. Um, and she has her full little outfit. It comes with a little blankie. And then the dolly also came with a little bottle as well as a little lovey stuffy giraffe um they have a ton of these types of dolls on amazon so this one is not up your alley um you can just google like reborn um baby dolls and you will find so many and so many have so many reviews um she is adorable i really really like her and i think ollie's gonna love her and i'm hoping that god willing we're able to get pregnant again and have that baby um she will be able to be a mommy and see me um holding her baby brother or sister and i know this is something that she's gonna want to do as well and so that's kind of why eleanor got the kindy kin doll um so she can have her baby and ollie can have her baby um so to go along with that i will say that so many of these dolls i've seen come in the most beautiful boxes and they open up and there's tissue paper and you just see the beautiful baby this one came in a plastic bag and it literally disturbs me every time i open it, it makes me sad <laughs> I don't know it makes me disturbed but this is not how ollie will open it she will get it in a pretty box and we'll be able to pull out her baby because i think this is traumatizing but this is the brand this is from sharex and this is for ages three and up to go along with that like i said we got her a bunch of little baby supplies they don't really have a bunch of these they just never really got into baby dolls like until recently ollie has and so I got this My Sweet Little Love Magic Bottle playset, and it has a little um, bib, a pacifier, and then two little, you know, magic bottles that disappear and stuff. Um, these, I think all of this was from Walmart. The My Sweet Love line, I think from Walmart, is really good, better than the one at Target. So I got her that set. She also got these little booties that fit her perfectly. These are from Target, from the Just for uh, Just One You Carter's line, and they're cute little unicorns i think they're adorable and totally up ollie's alley because she's unicorn obsessed and then we got her i had originally planned to do this when we had her brother because i thought she would be obsessed with wanting to carry him in his car seat but would be way too heavy to do so so her being able to take her car seat out to the car um, and have her baby doll in it and be able to attach it and hook it up is going to be so fun for her so this was from walmart as well the my sweet love line this was really inexpensive it was under ten dollars um and that big baby it's her baby is big um 
but it fits. So it may look a little oversized, but they do fit the larger reborn type of dolls do fit in this, just so you know. So this is um, her little carrier. And then she also has the, we set up the um, pack and play. Now this is a pain to open and close. My brother had to do it because I couldn't figure it out. So I definitely would recommend having this set up beforehand because it's kind of a pain so all of this is going to be all set up and ready for her just to come in in the morning and see and so i think she's going to be so excited um and i'm sure her little sister is going to want to help play with her baby doll in this now or her kindy kin in this now so that is kind of her little set to go with my mom's present okay we're nearing the end guys we're nearing the end so this next um couple of things are the things that ollie really asked for on her list her main things that she really wanted and they are all the rainbow high dolls i swear every christmas there's like a set of dolls she wants like last year was all of my little pony ones um this year all the rainbow high ones i mean specific ones um but she asked for a number ones one number of these um i probably wouldn't have gotten as many had i had had target not had that really really great sale and i got these for basically half off or buy one get one basically so um the first one i got her she asked for is poppy rowan this one's probably my favorite i think she's so beautiful i love all of the orange and her little outfits are super cute i've heard good and bad things about the rainbow high dolls so i'm hoping i'm hoping for good news because these i think are so cool and we've been watching the rainbow high show on youtube and it's so fun and it's all about learning how to express yourself and learning about your creative talents and abilities which i love um and she's been really liking too so i'm really hoping these live up to the hype because they are pricey they're around 25 dollars per doll um, but they are stunning so this is poppy she asked for sunny who is just really cute and fun and yellow she asked for Ruby, who's red. So obviously all of these are like the colors of the rainbow. And then she asked for Violet Willow, who is purple and like the most like glam of the group. Um, and then they came out, they're coming out with more, but then they came out with Bella who she has no idea that they came out with. And she's the pink one, all his favorite color is pink. So I think this is actually gonna end up being her favorite. They came out with Bella, um, and but Ollie has no idea that they came out with her. She's seen her on the show and really likes her, but she has no idea that they came out with her. So I think this is gonna be a really fun surprise for her. So like I said, I basically got buy one, get one free for all of the other ones. And then they recently brought her out and I think I might've gotten like 10% off or something some sort of money off no 25 percent off at target when you bought one toy so i did get her on sale as well but the other ones are essentially buy one get one free all right so their big present this year is a mutual gift and this is what santa's bringing them um i decided to talk to him and see if he wanted to switch things up because the girls originally are asking from santa they're asking for the rainbow high dolls and then the glamper um but i decided to talk to santa and see if he wanted to switch things up this year and bring them a new dollhouse. So I was watching my sweet friend here on YouTube, Mama Aaliyah, and she had shown the dollhouse that she got for her girls, and it literally blew my mind. But um, if you watched my Christmas, if you've been watching my Christmas gift guides for a while, you would have seen that Santa brought Olive a huge kid craft dollhouse a couple years ago, I think about three years ago now. Um, and it was ginormous and I thought the bigger the better um, and it, I think it's just too big and I know it sounds so ungrateful and terrible and I don't mean it like that um, we plan on donating it because it's still in great conditions I highly recommend the Kid Craft Doll House but it was just so big and so overwhelming that I feel like both her and Eleanor although play with it nonstop now it's taken literally this whole entire time for them to really begin to play with it more and more um, it's just so big and the colors are magenta pink and black and it's really dark it's pressed up against their wall in their bedroom they don't get a lot of natural light in that room and it's just really dark it's giant and dark and i just feel like doesn't offer them a lot of just play room because it's so big and there it's in a small little space and it's just not as like inviting so what i decided to do we're going to donate that dollhouse and i decided to ask santa if he wanted to bring this dollhouse 
So I found this also on Amazon. I have it linked below, um, but it's a 360 dollhouse. And this wheels, so we can wheel it out into the middle of their room. So it's fully just like the lights hit and everything. It's not gonna be dark and dim and it's 360 play. So they they both can be all over it. No one's hogging anything. No one's pushing one out, the other out of the way. Um, and there's just plenty of play space for them. It's light, it's bright. The colors are just so much happier and lighter to me. It's not so pink. Um, although my girls love pink, I wanted something that was a bit more neutral, especially if we end up getting pregnant again and having a little boy. Um, I want him to be able to fully play with it and not just be like overly pink. Not that anything's wrong with boys liking pink, but you know what I'm saying. I just wanted more of a neutral dollhouse and I'm so excited. Now this dollhouse was a bit pricier. It was around $230. Um, and I think right now it's up to 250 However, I think Kid Craft makes excellent dollhouses. Like I said, the one we've had for three years is still in excellent condition. Um, and you end up paying close to 200 for all the Barbie dream houses, and they're just plastic and cheap and break so easily. And I've honestly been so underwhelmed with the dream houses that they've brought out. I used to love my Barbie dream house. That was my favorite gift I've ever gotten as a child and I played with it year after year after year after year and I remember the Christmas that I got it and it's like when I think of Christmas magic that is the memory I go back to. <laughs> that it like brings me like to tears. I get really emotional about it because I loved that dollhouse and it was Barbie and it was excellently made and I saved it but we kept it up in the attic and unfortunately the Texas heat destroyed it. So I've been wanting to get them something that brings as much magic to them and the Barbie houses just don't do it anymore. They're just really cheap and plasticky and just don't have a nice synchronicity to it. Like I just feel like, I don't know, I don't love them. So I would much rather spend a little bit more money and get something that has wheels, <laughs> that is wooden, that has a ton of accessories, a ton of places to play and I just think it's an overall just better construct. So I'm really, really excited about this gift and I am so thankful that I saw that video. I will have her video linked below. She makes insane, just wonderful gift guides. I think she her gift guides are just so well thought out and I've watched them year after year now and she's such a sweet friend. So definitely go follow her and check her out, especially if you have want more gift ideas. So that is their big mutual shared gift that Santa is gonna bring them this year. I don't have it with me obviously because it's up being built into the North Pole, but I will have insert that picture. And then the last gift, which is gonna be probably crazy to some of you, um, is our, we got them new iPads. So these are the iPads. I honestly don't know what these are. The iPad 8th generation, I think this is the newest type of iPad. Um, we bought them iPads because all, Eleanor has been using the one that, that was originally mine and it's like six years old now and literally it won't even hold a charge anymore. It dies every five seconds. None of the buttons work. It's, it's needed to go for a long time. And if you watched my gift guide, I think year before last, um, we ended up getting Ollie a Samsung tablet. Um, for a really, really great price, and there's not necessarily anything wrong with it. However, it drops Wi-Fi all the time, and the storage space is very, very small, and you can't add more storage to it. So it just hasn't been very conducive for her as well. And honestly, I feel like iPads are just so user-friendly for kids and for most people, and I just prefer them. Um, and so we knew we needed to eventually buy new iPads for the girls anyway, especially now since we're staying in all winter, we're in a pandemic, they're at home, they do some screen time more than they normally would. We decided just to bite the bullet and get some iPads. Jazz got a really good sale on Black Friday for them um, over at Mega Mart or Metro Mart or Motor Mart or Electronic Mart. Oh my gosh, what is it called? I honestly don't know. Electronic store, I don't know. Something Mart. Maybe not even Mart. I don't know. It's electronic store. You got a really good deal on them and the girls aren't expecting them, but I'm really excited. I just hope that they understand the value of these gifts, um, specifically these, but I know that our last iPad lasted for six years and it was used by not only me, but two different toddlers. So I definitely know the longe longevity for iPads are really great. So I'm really excited for these for them. And to go along with them, I got them two um, cases. These were just from Amazon. These ones had the best 
reviews. I got this one for Olive and this one for Eleanor or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. We'll figure it out. But I will have these linked below. These are have the best reviews. Um, so I got two of those. And then to go along with them, I also got two packs of headphones. The girls are getting to the age where they're watching their own stuff and they want to hear the other person's iPad and then there's fighting and when they have quiet time, it's just a mess. So we decided to do headphones too. These are the headphones that I got them. They're adorable. These also had really good reviews. They're little cat headphones and they light up with LED lights um, and they're wireless and or you can still use an auxiliary cable and plug them in. But with probably these iPads, they probably don't have auxiliary ports, which kind of drives me crazy. But I got these um, both for them. This one's Eleanor's, it's purple and green, and this one's Ollie's. Um, I didn't realize this one is the kid-proof one, so it's a limited volume and this one isn't. So we're going to have to listen to them to make sure that this one isn't too quiet and this one isn't too loud. And kind of maybe exchange things, but these were on sale um, on Amazon and they had really good reviews as well. So these are their headphones to go along with their iPads. And that is it. Those actually, the iPads are going to be specifically from my husband it's something that he really wanted to do for them I was really hesitant because it's expensive um, but it's something that he really wanted to get for them so I'm letting him take full glory for that um, but that is it so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope I gave you some idea oh wait all right the last thing I want to share you share with you is not for my girls but I think it's such a cool gift and it's for my one of my uh, nephews my youngest nephew um, he just turned one but this is, was on sale and I think it's still on sale I got this at I believe Walmart and it was $80 and I got it half off so and I think it's still on sale but it is the Fisher Price in what is this what is what are you grow grow the fun garden to kitchen he's super into we have like a little um what is it called a little food truck from fisher price that was Elnor's that he loves to come and play with i just thought this would be such a good gift for him for him to grow into all right that is it that's the end of my christmas gift guide for my girls i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it met all of your hopes and dreams and satiated you guys um I know that it was probably less than I normally do, presence-wise, than I normally do or have done in the past. However, I feel like we have some pretty bigger ticketed items in this one, um, and I think the girls are going to have a wonderful Christmas. So I hope I give you some ideas. I feel like it was pretty real well, real well, well rounded, um, and I'm really excited. I can't wait to see their faces on Christmas. Um, yeah, so don't forget that I still have more gift guides coming for you guys. I have my stocking stuffer gift guide as well as what I got my husband for Christmas. And this year I'm also going to include a woman's gift guide or what to get your the woman in your life, your wife, your mom, your sister, your friend, your teacher, what have you. I'm going to include that as well. So keep an eye out for those. Those are coming your way. But we got the main one that you guys really wanted to see out of the way. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will see you guys very soon. I hope you're having a wonderful and happy and safe and healthy holiday season. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.